You know, one, one of the things that I think is very important is that you don't become uh, resentful. Like, yeah. and, and, well, and, and, you know, when, when I'm on this tour, for example, like, there's no resentment for me because you think, well, this is, you might think, well, this is a lot of work and I've been running around like mad and, and uh, you know, it, it takes a lot of organization and it's quite demanding and all of that. And that's all true. And that, that, none of that is a complaint. And I decided with Tammy right at the beginning that, well, first of all, that this was going to be work and not a vacation because we're not stupid. We know you can't have everything at the same time if you have any sense. You're lucky if you get some things that are good at once, you know. So we're very grateful to have that opportunity and that I was going to continue to do this as long as I was thrilled to be in front of the audience. And then when I meet people afterwards that I'm not looking at the end of the line to see when the night ends, you know, because I want to be sure that every single person that comes to meet me, I'm, you know, present, present for absolutely. Cause I am, I am actually quite taken aback and thrilled, I guess is the right word. Grateful. Gratitude, That's better yes. that they're there. It's like, yeah. God, man, some of these people, you know, like I was in, they're coming from all over the place. You know, people fly in from Australia into Europe. They've yeah. they've flown. They've flown. It's lots of Eastern Europeans came to England. In fact, they're making huge treks. There was guys who came from like eight. They took took them like twelve hours to get through Russia to come to Finland to watch the talk there. You know, and 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 then not just a few people like that. People are really going way the hell out of their way. You know, and then and then they line up, and it's not that it's not inexpensive because these venues are expensive and and all of that. And I'm, well, I'm, I'm doing, and it's the same with the damn interviews. It's like, I'm doing my best to not take any of this for granted and not get annoyed about it. And, and that goes for the conflict too. It's like, well, you know, I've tried to have my agent screen out maybe the more egregious um, interviews, you know, the ones that would just be nothing but combat because they're, I find them quite stressful, though I, I wouldn't say I'm hiding from them. But you don't know, to begin with, how an interview is going to go. And I could just say, well, I'm done having interviews and for a while. But I, I can't help but see that the conflict is a necessary part of this, even though I don't find it pleasant. Like, people think, they, they accuse me of being a provocateur, of enjoying the conflict. and It's actually not true at all. I don't no. enjoy it at all. It usually takes me about three days to recover from a, like for a particularly contentious interview. You know, because I find it, I find conflict, interpersonal conflict, quite stressful. Yes. You know, but I Everyone think... Everyone does. Yes. And to pretend you don't, you're either a sociopath or you're a liar. Yeah.